Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. turning a different color brown. You know we talk about my color all the time. Rihanna's makeup is perfect, by the way, but I just think I need to go down a number. I need to have two numbers on me. I need to have 410. This is 410. Four ten and four twenty on it. Four ten and four twenty is what I need. You guys can't hear me. Now let me see if you guys can hear me. Uh-oh. Oh, Lori Harvey broke up with somebody again. All right, Lori. You're exploring. What can you do? She's exploring. Let's give her grace. Um, I do wonder if she's like her mother, though, but I'm just saying... Just okay, so that's fine. I can look at the comments because the comments come on there faster. How is everyone doing? I don't have my glasses on yet, so let me just get my glasses on. How's everyone doing? We do have a lot to talk about today. A lot. There's just a lot going on in the world. Okay. You think I would be ready, right? You would think I would be like prepared to come to work every day. This is what I did in real life. In real life, like I know why people fired me. This is what I did in real life. It would take me about an hour to get prepared to do my job. An hour. After I've had my coffee, after I was late, let's just start there. After I've had my coffee, because you can't start your work unless you have your coffee. After I had to ask my co-workers what their children did at the recital, how, like how was the recital? I, I got to ask. You put me next to someone who has children, that has recitals. That's part of my job too. Socializing is part of my job. It is. What your husband do? Because I know he didn't come home last night. Did he come home? Again. 
What you gonna do? I can't think about it right now. Don't think about it, child. But we we gonna talk at lunch, okay? And back in the day, you had liquid lunches. That's a lunch with no food. You swallowed your lunch. People will talk at lunch, child. Back in the day, back in the day, before that all these rules. People will talk at lunch. You going for your liquid lunch? Let's go. Mm -hmm. They will spill the beans at a liquid lunch. And if y'all ever had a liquid lunch, it's amazing. Liquid lunch used to be fun. And you come back happy, ready to work, but you can't work, right? Because you're too fucking drunk. You can't see the numbers. You're wasted. Mm -hmm. Those were the days. Mm -hmm. Liquid lunches. When I was working in New York City, doing these liquid lunches, mm, those were the days. And if you were really, really hungry when you went back to work, just picked up a quick pizza. There was always somebody selling a pizza somewhere every two blocks. Mm -hmm. Those were the days, child. I miss those days. Hi, Jenny G. Hi, Steven. Jakari, how are you? Lex Hall, Grand Rising, Lex Hall. Sweets, call now. Peace and blessings, everyone. Peace and blessings. 504, ta good morning. Ayana, good morning. Saki love, good morning. Kapikai, Kapikai, good morning. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, get your ears ready. We got a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. Lori's a baby. Lori's in her 20s. She's supposed to be tramping around. We all tramped around in our 20s. She's a baby. She's sowing her oats in the safe zone. Hi. Good morning, Tracy and Chet. Good morning in the safe zone. Lisa, good morning. Hand pink waving. Hi. Hi. Yeah. I mean, I do want to start. What is this happening to me? All right. Maybe I could see it from here. I do want to start out with. Ah, uh, yes. I do want to start out with uh, Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry. So, one of my group mates sent me a thingamajiggy, and she was like, Tracy, you were right. You were right. I think Lamar said the same thing on a separate video, no less. But I, I said it on a couple of videos. Oh, which reminds me. Oh, let me check on Lamar. Lamar. Lamar had a problem with his car, child. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Wow. Um, so hopefully he'll come on today if he doesn't have to do too much with his car. Getting back to Matthew Perry. So Matthew Perry, unfortunately, I predicted, and it seemed kind of cruel what I said. Like I was really worried. I was like, God, like the way I'm saying it sounds kind of cruel. Like let the let the dead be dead, right? But I, I am recognizing that one, I wasn't being cruel. I was talking the truth. I'm Ezra now, but it's the truth, Dari, it's the truth. Um, I was talking the truth. Um, 
and I don't think it was about my delivery. I think it was about how everyone was feeling. So I was talking from a place of them going, oh God, now he trumps us by dying. Like that's how I felt. I didn't say that, but that's how I felt. Now we gotta say something. And I could see them all talking to each other and kind of going, what do we do? Like, that's how bad this man was disliked by his friends cast. The irony of it all, the irony. I think when someone does drugs, it is so hard to trust that person. It is so hard to love that person. Like, it is so, I mean, I can't even imagine that type of experience. And yet, a lot of people have that type of experience with their, with their loved ones, let alone a friend. At least a friend you can ignore. But what if it's a loved one? And you live with all of this guilt because you get to the point where you're like, never come by my house ever again, ever. And what if it's your child that you have to say this to? What if it's your dad, right? I mean, mortifying to think. So if it's a friend and you can eradicate a friend, you can be like, we are friends no more. You can't do that with family, not without that pain inside you for life. For life, you have that pain. When you remember your child being seven and they got crack all over their mouth at 27. So I feel like they were like, oh my God, what do we do? And they didn't know how to respond for days because they despised him that much. They had that much disdain for him. I can't imagine someone not liking me to that guttural point where you have disdain that somebody died and <clears throat> something doesn't shift inside of you and you go, oh my God. And you don't go back to the, to the remembering the good times. Even if they were like a bastard, you go back to remembering the good times. I can't imagine dying and no one cares. No one. And if his friends felt like that, imagine what his family went through. And that's why the friends cast, when they made a joint statement, was quick to say, our hearts are going out to his family. I felt that. Something about that statement, mm -mm. Let me see how they put it, because I, I don't know if it was just as generic as that. Ooh, child. Friends cast statement. We are so utterly devastated by the loss of Matthew, not by the loss of my friend, our friend. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is how despised this man was. They didn't even take personal ownership for, for this loss. 
We were more than just castmates. We are a family. Not he was my best bud. We were a family. We are a family is a fucking song. So there's a lot of play on words here that we all might have missed. There's so much to say. But right now, we're going to take a moment to grieve and process this unfathomable loss. There's so much to say. In time, we will say more. We who? Why is this a joint statement? And when we are able, for now, our thoughts and our love are with Maddie's family, his friends. See? See what they did with that? And everyone who loved him around the world. Big play on words, everyone. A big play on words here. So when I did the reading, I was like, mm-mm, these people, mm-mm, they did not like this man, right? They were on this guy's show. I don't know the name of this guy. I don't know the name of this guy. All right. Let me find it for you. This is a predicted edit. And someone said it to me, and she's like, you called it. Yeah, I know I did. Anytime you text or call someone, they're going to pick up. They'll be there. Madam, who doesn't pick up? I don't hear from anyone. Uh, well, I mean, no, we stay in touch, for sure. Maybe not every day. Anytime you text or call someone, they're going to pick up. They'll be there. Who doesn't pick up? I don't hear from anyone. Anytime you text or call someone, they're going to pick up. Rest in peace, Matthew Perry. All right, guys. That's sad. Moving on. Hi, Rose. Oh, one of my favorite names is Rose. Hi, Rose. All right. Let's move on. So, Ohio is pretty proud of themselves.
Ohio voters approve constitutional right to abortion. You go, Ohio. Ohio will become the latest state to enshrine reproductive rights in its state's constitution, continuing a winning trend for abortion rights advocates since the overturning of Roe versus Wade. With the passage of the violent measured issue, Ohio will be prevented from restricting abortion access before fetal viability, which doctors believe to be around 22 to 24 weeks. That's six months of pregnancy. After viability, the state can restrict abortion access unless the patient's life or health are at risk. The vote is yet another sign that the abortion access is a key issue for voters across party lines. Even in a state like Ohio, which has trended Republican in recent elections. Abortion access isn't just a winning issue with voters, it's a fundamental right that impacts every aspect of lives. Ohioans have now constitutionally guaranteed this right and the nation is watching. That's pretty cool. You know, guys, I always told you, if abortion is gonna happen, it has to happen because of white women. If it's gonna happen, it has to happen because of white women, because it's the white women they wanna control. And so whites have to stand up and say, no mas, I will not follow white men because they're crazy. They don't know how to run the country. And these, and it was the older white men that did this. It was them old fuddy duddies that did this. And if this, if anything was gonna change with abortion, it was up to white women and white women, y'all are pulling through. I'm so proud of you. You no longer just want to be sexualized. I love that about you guys. And you are using your voice and your voting power and look at you. It was never about the minorities. We talked about this. I, I even told my minority, sit down, be an ally for white women. But this is not, this, they're not talking to you. Mm -hmm. They don't want more babies in the world. That's not what they're saying. They, they want more white babies in the world. And that means white women are being victim to that uh, intellectual imprisonment. But 60-year-old women might have fell for this shit. These women nowadays, fuck no. No. I'm so proud of them. All right. So we work, we work, you guys know we work. It's that place where people go and pretend they have an office. Let's all meet at we work. They're filing for bankruptcy child. Mm -hmm. It was a great concept until it wasn't a great concept. It was a great concept until COVID kicked in. It was a cute place to go to work or pretend. Remember back in the day, nobody was working out of their, off, uh, out of their homes. So WeWork was a place to go to. Now, or even on CNN, you see people working out of their kitchens. I mean, the world has changed where we are literally watching 
political um, a host, like literally out of their kitchen, times have changed. Times have changed. We work the beleaguered co-working space company has filed for bankruptcy. Marketing, marking a stunning downfall for what was once the world's most valuable startup. The chapter 11 bankruptcy announcement was widely expected at the company, after the company said last month it was struggling to pay back its debt. The pandemic rocked WeWork. I'm telling you, it sure did. Let me see something. Um, I'm always checking for lumps in my breast. Anybody else? Do you just like, you're supposed to lay down and check for lumps. I had a mammogram last year. I don't think they like you to have mammograms every year. Plus I have one of those dense breasts. That means anything is inside of these tiny little breasts. Anybody else does uh, breast exams? I'm doing one right now. It's okay, it's okay. I should be laying down when I do it though, but it's okay, it's okay. It's like breastfeeding, get over yourselves. I'm doing a breast exam in front of you and y'all should be doing a breast exam with me. Feel them breasts, is it okay? You feel any lumps? Let me check. You gotta take your fingers, you gotta rub like this. Anybody else? Check, check your breasts right now, it's okay, it's okay. The men will survive. They'll survive. It's called a breast exam. Maybe they just need to be massaged. Are there a lot of lymph nodes in your breast? Because now that I'm massaging it, maybe just need to be massaged. Okay, that's what it is. Whew. I feel much better. Maybe they just need to massage them. I'll massage the 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 other side later. Are there a lot of lymph nodes in your breast? I think I'm having a lymph node issue. It's how you do your lymph nodes. You're supposed to have a brush though, but you could do it with your hands right now. What else do you do? I might be leaving something out. I feel like I'm leaving something out. And then we should do the standing up, I think. And then, uh, oh my God. Stuff is so, I got things to do, people. I can't be doing all this technical stuff. I need a remote control. And then, I get on shorts, guys. Oh, and then you got to get to your backside where your kidneys are. Hold on. And you got to rub it. I'll do a video on it. You guys want me to do a video on your, your lymph nodes? I'll do a video on it. Let me massage my breast just a little bit more. That actually felt good. I, I think I need my breast to be massaged. Are there lymph nodes in your breast? Nobody's answering me. I think I'm having a lymph node issue. Ugh. All right. That felt good. Whew. All right. So we work is going out of business. Will they survive? They're like, oh, we work said. It will remain open and operational as it renegotiates its leases and debt obligations. What do you mean renegotiate your leases? These landlords are bastards. No, they're not going to renegotiate with you. I 
people work out eight at home, child. We don't have time. Uh, lymph nodes closest to the breast are located under your armpit. Oh, really? Then that's that's why they tell you to rub here. Because they tell you to rub here, right? That's what they tell you. Rub, 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 rub. Thank you, sweetie. Oh, that feels good. On the side of the breast, slightly under the arm, like right here. That hurts right here, though. Ah, it hurts there. Ah. Maybe I just need to exercise it every day. Oh, thank you for telling me where the nymph nodes are. You guys are amazing. Oh, Colton says he loves me. Thank you, Colton. Don't be a stalker, Colton. Don't be a stalker. <laughs> but thank you. Oh, my God. You've been home since 2020? Ciao. That's a dream. <laughs> the one thing about COVID, none of us knew that working from home was a whole thing. None of us knew that. But when COVID came through and companies had to find a way to keep their business going regardless, oh, they found a way. They found a way. And some of y'all still have not gone back to work. I love that. Them mom and pop breakfast places, they losing money. Most of them had to shut down in San Francisco. San Francisco is a ghost town. Yep. And I think Mayor Adams, that weirdo, is telling everyone, get back to work, get back to work. It's too late, Mayor Adams. Half these stores already closed down. It's not going to work. Nobody wants to go back to work anymore. <laughs> Atia goes, I remember this ugly acting vanilla man told me you'll never be able to work from home. Ha! Ah, look at me now. I know. It's fun, right? Look at me now. I need to put some um, calorie beads in my hair now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to start this whole bohemian look. I'm going to do it. All right. Hi, African chair batter. All right. What else we got? I don't have time for reworks. This is really important. Something is going to change in a real estate market. And to be honest with you, I fucking hate the real estate market. I fucking hate the real estate market. I'm, I love real estate agents. I hate the market. I hate how they price people out. I hate how they especially during the I was shocked that that was the one thing I got wrong during the COVID. The one thing I got wrong during the COVID was the real estate market. Everybody brought homes during COVID and you all paid a hundred thousand over the asking. I was like, oh my God, the real estate market was, it was supposed to go down. But well, all y'all got tricked. And you know how you got tricked? Because they kept advertising low interest rates. But nobody heard them. Because the real estate market is a conglomerate. So they advertised low interest rates, which is great. But sold homes 100000 above. Once they saw that work, then they kept the low interest rates and kept advertising low interest rates and sold homes 200000 above. Y'all kept hearing the low interest rates. You were not looking at the fact that the homes that you were buying were overvalued. 
and I'm watching y'all buy homes and I'm like, please don't, please don't. I have, I have begged people not to buy a home. I begged them. I said, please don't. What gonna do? We don't know who's going to get laid off from work after COVID. Wait. But the irony in that is that the market kept growing. The demand kept growing. It was one of the most awkward times to me in real estate where everybody was fighting over a home. Did it work out for everyone? That's what I want to know. Because I'm not getting the, the, uh, the other side of it, which is I brought a home and I regret it. Did it work out? Renee, what do you mean by it's crappy? What's happening in a real estate market? They were driving up the price, right? Zillow was buying up all the homes cheaply. Mm. If you get a USDA loan, you will get a good deal. They won't let you overpay. Interesting. Well, yeah. I mean, you sold your home to you. I'm sure you got a good price for selling your home. But then you brought a new home. Did you, was it a deal though? Like, was that transaction a deal? I agree, through the roof and too high. I agree. Through the roof and too high, yes. Oh, you got your new home built. Okay, that's different. That's different. I never wanted to own a home until I got here. Now I feel like I want to own a home. Well, the cost of lumber skyrocketed because of shipping issues. Did your appliances even come on time? The shipping issues during the COVID was horrifying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How long did it take you to get your home built? Because I heard some stories about that too. Some homes were supposed to be built in six months. Some homes wasn't built for 18 months. Oh, but the price was locked in. That's good. <gasps> what, Kenneth? A lot of buyers are getting screwed because their insurance and taxes keep going up. What? What? Wow. Wow. Anybody else want to share? Because they're keeping secret. I got a nodule right there. Oh my God. It's almost like I fell on my head. I got a nodule where the brains don't meet the other brains, the marbles. <laughs> oh my God. The insurance or taxes are no joke. I called my agent and asked, What's going on? That's how they're getting you. That is how they're getting you. They're going to get you one way or the other. That is exactly how they're getting you. I am so sorry, everyone. I am so sorry. Mm. Wow. Well, Florida is just screwed royally. Florida, those last two hurricanes, they were like, screw Florida. 
And insurance just left Florida. They were like, screw Florida. We don't have time. And the fact that Florida is letting insurance company companies do this to y'all. By the way, where is Ron DeSantis? Why have I not heard his dumb ass talk? What's going on with Ron DeSantis? Biggest scam is home insurance. All right, he's still out there trying to do some political shit. I really don't care. What is his ethnicity? That's a good one. Oh, Italy. All right. Listen up, guys. After a $1.8 billion verdict, the clock is ticking on the 6% real estate commission. Renee, I'm not posting that. I don't even know what that means, Renee. Don't let me hear about a fire, Renee. Don't let me hear it. <laughs> I'm not even posting that. I'm saving you, Renee. Renee's got plans. <laughs> oh, there's a debate tonight. Okay. Listen to this. Using a travel agent to buy a ticket or a stockbroker... <laughs> I can't. I can't with you all. I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> I'm going to get a reading and it's going to be like, Tracy, guess what happened? I'm going to be like, what happened, Renee? Girl, you know. You know. You know. You know. <laughs> I'll be like, uh huh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, uh-huh. <laughs> There's got to be a way that they help us to get rid of the comment, not the person. Sometimes they just want to get rid of the comment. <laughs> they don't have a, a, a button for like, Delete the comment. All right. Let's get rid of this. Using a travel agent to buy a ticket or a stockbroker to trade equities seems like the relic of the past. And yet every day, people across America hire a real estate agent to help them sell a home. It's one of the few industries that's been able to largely avoid the disruption that has helped consumers cut costs in the Internet. Age. And that is largely because of the power of the National Association of Realtors, NAR. Sounds like N N R A. They both have guns to your head. The largest professional organization in America and a significant lobbying group. That means they go to your politicians for the real estate industry. <laughs> I can't with you all. Y'all are not going to let me read this article. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at Kathy. When you have auto insurance, but you call the tow truck to take you to the hospital. Right. Because that ambulance bill, oh, my God. That ambulance bill is ridiculous. That ambulance bill is bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> Kenneth goes lordy. Lordy. <laughs> they bringing us to that point. They are bringing us to that point. Burn it all down. Let me tell you something. We have something. <laughs> There's so much to tell you guys. We have something called the fire burn here in St. Croix. And three women 
constituted the Firebird. They got so tired of uh, slavery, but they weren't sla- they weren't enslaved by this time. But there was no place to go, so they still worked on the plantation. And once a year, you get together and you decide if you want to go to another person's plantation. True story. But they wouldn't, the, the, the owners of the plantation wouldn't pay more than 10 cents a day. Something stupid like that. Something ridiculous, right? And so there was rumblings where they were like, we're so tired of this. But you had no place to go, right? You don't understand that the, other, the world outside of you is advancing, but the Caribbeans weren't. Three ladies. I got the book right here. Hold on. Hopefully I have the book. Oh, here it is. Nope. God damn it. Where is that book? I got two of these books, no less. Is it this one? Oh, here it is. Nope. What is this, though? Where is the book? Uh, I got a lot of magical potion oils and stuff. What the hell? I gotta start looking at this stuff. Oh. Nope. <sighs> Let me just see something. You usually don't lose anything. Is it here? Oh, here. Here it is. I usually don't lose anything, guys. It's called Queen, somebody wrote this book, Queen Mary and Dem. That, that's how we talk here. Dem over there. Dem over there. That's how we talk here. It's English. And it's a handwritten by the author. And it's a story, child, when you read this book, I, I told everyone I could not understand this book. And they were like, why? And I was like, because I'm not. Born and raised Caribbean, that's why. Because, look. Look at that. Look. How are you supposed to read that? Dem all, dem all use, dem all use are like animals. I don't understand. Dem all use mule and bull upon the estate. Dem ha told, po. it's a whole nother language here. It's, and he wrote it in the language at the time. This, this man still lives because I got a signed copy by him. Okay, but let me tell you about these guys, right? And I'm only bringing this up because of this, right? Of that. These women got tired of the abuse here on St. Croix. And y'all want to know why I'm a fighter? It's in my bloodline. It's in my bloodline from St. Croix. On my grandfather's side, it's in my bloodline from my grandmama all the way going back to Haiti. Y'all y'all want to know why I fight, scream, yell, cuss, talk about Karens? Sorry. Sorry. Not apologizing anymore. I got the fight in me. And sometimes if I don't fight, I got to find a fight. I'm like, anybody need a good fight? Do you need help? Because I'll fight your battles, right? Three women. gathered the town together 
and said, let's burn it shit down. Man, I wish I was there. I probably was there. I was probably a little girl. They burned this whole island down from one point to the next. Well, they burned the plantations down, not their own home. They ain't stupid. They put, they, they burned their, the plantations down from one island to the next. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just got to burn real estate down, child. I'm just saying. So now they're saying that this $1.8 billion, billion dollar settlement could stop commissions. Oh, how are the real estate agents ever going to live without their commissions? How, Beverly Hills Real Estate, Beverly Hills, this, that, and the third, how are you, any of you going to survive? Mm -hmm. And the National Real Estate Association, Association of Realtors, has several lawsuits. Because mm -hmm. it's a conglomerate. Mm -hmm. Thank you, King Colton. Aw. Dang, I'm late watching replays. Aw. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the beginning was good, Soul Sister, because I talked about Matthew Perry and I got to predicted it. I got to predicted it. it. Yep. Yeah. This is alcohol, by the way. I don't believe in sanitizer. But that's just me. I don't believe in sanitizer. If you're going to sanitize my ass, I'm just going to use pure alcohol. All right. Next up. The five, the five things you need to know. Wait, what's happening here? Oh my God, this is not charging. Ugh. Why are you not charging? All right, I don't have time right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not charging. Oh. Maybe, you know, sometimes these charges get a little gunky. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe this is it. Damn. All right. It's all right. Five things you need to know for November 8th. Elections. Israel. G7. G7 meeting, G7, only seven countries are getting together to discuss what? What are they gonna discuss? The killing of Palestinians? Only seven countries are getting together, not 20? Network outages and housing market. Fire was out yesterday. Oh, Bayer is my cable company. It was out yesterday. And then they even didn't even make an announcement. You know, sometimes you go to call because um, I thought maybe my bill was due, but it, it's not due till like November, uh, the 15th of the month. So I was like, my bill can't be due because like, why am I disconnected? Do you know how sometimes you call and they go, if you live in this section, we are aware of outages, right? Nothing. They say nothing. So I had to get through to an operator, which is an impossibility now. There's no button that says operator. So I had to call business solutions. I don't have a business with cable. Business solutions. And it's like, oh, if you want to start a business, press two. I don't want to start a business, but I know that I'll talk to a human being if I say, yeah, I want to start a business. And she's like, where do you live, man? I said, St. Croix. She goes, St. Croix is out. I said, all of St. Croix? She goes, yes. 
I said, okay. Thank you. All right. Elections. This is going to be good, so listen up. Democrats are celebrating a number of key victories from Tuesday's election. Ohio said yes to making abortion a constitutional right. That's the difference. It is a constitutional right now. Becoming the first Republican state to make such a move. In deep red Kentucky, CNN projects Democratic Governor Andy Beshear. That's a MAGA state, Kentucky. Will win a second term after he made abortion rights a key issue in his campaign. Voters also helped sweep control of the Virginia legislature in a major blow to GOP Governor Glenn Youngkin. Democrats sweep control of the Virginia legislature in a major blow to Governor Glenn Youngkin. Oh, that's good. Republicans won in Mississippi. Um, in other closely watched contests, Cheryl Parker is projected to become Florida's first woman mayor, while Gabe Amel will become the first black person to represent Rhode Island in Congress. Oh, we're still doing so many firsts. The first black this, the first black that, the first the black, the black, the black. It is 2023, people. Why is the first of anything still occurring in 2023? All right, I'm over it. All right, here we go, guys. Israel. Yay, Virginia. I love Virginia. You guys are amazing. It's so beautiful in Virginia. It's so beautiful. I love Virginia. Um, but I love the urban part of Virginia. There's there's other parts of Virginia. Y'all got the um, the sundown parts of Virginia too. Don't think I don't know this. I know about the sundown towns. I know all about the sundown towns. We don't go too deep in Virginia. Virginia is beautiful near Washington D.C. Um, hmm. What's yes we do, conjure concepts? What's 757? I don't get it. Renee, Renee knows I ain't lying. I know about the sundown towns. I know all about the sundown towns. Yes, I did watch Married with the Medicine. (laughs) <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> now y'all know my brains don't go if it ain't psychic i don't use my brains if it ain't intuitive mm-mm. if it ain't new age or metaphysical mm-mm. i don't have brains so y'all are mentioning the the area codes are these the area codes of the sundown towns because i know all about the sundown towns oh yes i do Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I know. All right. Israel. I'm from the 757 with a name like Conjure. I hope you are cooking up some stuff, child. You better be cooking up some stuff. With a name like Conjure Concepts, you better be cooking up some stuff because Virginia got. Uh, 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 uh. Y'all got hoodoo. Y'all got hoodoo. Y'all got who do? Look at these books. I don't know why Spirit showed me these books today. I don't even know what this is. 1900 or The Last President. I don't even know why I have here. The Last President? 1900, The Last President. I don't know why I have this here, but I have it for a reason, so I'll figure it out later. Um, Papa Jim, Magical Oil. These are old books. By the way, (laughs) 
That was Papa Jim. I like old books like this. And it just has from A to, let's see how far back. Fire and will, fire and will, huh? Look at this. God wanted me to find this all the way to from A all the way to uh, Oh, suck it now. Oh, suck it now. Look at God. Oh, suck it, suck it, suck it now. Ooh, ooh. I just found something. I just found something. Let me see. Oh, I gotta find this this oil now. Huh, what's it called? <laughs> All sucking out. Here it is. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Ooh. Oh. I like how they're creating their stuff. Who is this? Okay, well, God wanted me to find this. Thank you, my peoples. Because of you, I had to go through my bookshelf to find something very interesting. In Memphis, Hoodoo or Voodoo? In Memphis? Uh, I don't think it's voodoo in Memphis. I think it still falls under voodoo. I think it still falls under voodoo. I'm uh, y'all just helped me find something, and thank you. Thank you. I'm from Memphis. Oh, you're from Memphis. Your family's from Louisiana, child. Louisiana is voodoo, two different things. All right, Israel, oh my God. Israel says it's forces at the heart of the Gaza city where they are targeted, Hamas infrastructure, blah, 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 blah. Let's all pray. Let's all pray for the freedom of the Palestinians. Let's all pray that this war stops. Let's all pray that Israel loses. The genocide of the Palestinian people is unacceptable. Let's all pray that not another country, including America, supports Israel's military. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus' name, who was a Palestinian, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Moving on. G7 meeting. Representatives from the G7 member countries are gathering in Tokyo today to discuss a long, long list of issues. 
including how to respond to the Israel-Hamas war. How to respond? This is not an Israel-Hamas war. This is an Israel-Palestinian war. Why do they keep calling it Hamas? This is an Israel-Palestinian war. Stop saying Hamas. The G7 is short for group of seven because the, G, the Gs go up to 20 countries. So we only got seven countries discussing this. An organization of leaders from some of the world's largest economies, Canada, France, Germany. Why is Germany there? Why is Germany there? Italy, Japan, the United Kingdom, and the United States. A group of G7 ministers earlier today voiced, voiced support for humanitarian pauses in Gaza. If Israel doesn't pause, no money goes to Israel. It is that simple. But stop short of calling a ceasefire. Didn't this happen in World War II, guys? Didn't this happen in World War II when Germany was annihilating the Jews from all over, Poland, everywhere, and nobody stepped in? Isn't this similar? Oh. Oh. So it's okay just to kill Palestinians. That's what you're telling me. Network allergies. Phone networks and internet connections were down for millions of Australians today. All right, well, it's Australia. Why? After the country's second largest telecommunications provider experienced an unexplained nationwide outage. This is called being cyber attacked. Optus CEO, I guess that's the cable company, ruled out a cyber attack. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It was a cyber attack, people. All right. Oh, everything went down. Their train networks. What? Rideshare companies, banks, hospitals. Somebody's practicing. Somebody's practicing on Australia. There's going to be a widespread network outage in one of the bigger countries. Somebody's practicing on Australians. It's coming, United Kingdom. It's coming. It's coming. And maybe the U.S. too. Housing market. The housing market in the U.S. is at least, the housing market in the U.S. is the least affordable. It is, who's lying to me? You, we just talked about the housing market. This article in CNN says the housing market in the U.S. Oh, it, okay. Oh, okay, I read it wrong. Is the least affordable since 1984. Isn't there a book called 1984? Which explains all the shit that's going down with AI and all this stuff. Did you all ever read George Orwell's 1984? Because you should. Because it was about a home. Do you know the book 1984? It was about a home that was all like exactly what it is now, right? Because you know you can lock your doors from your phone and you could be on a plane. You could be like, oh, I forgot to lock my doors. And you can get in your phone and you could lock your doors. Well, that's what it was about. A home where you could just like talk to it. You know, close the blinds, do this. Y'all are doing that right now. Except the home fell in love with the owner of the home, right? Who was a man. And if I'm not correct, if I'm, I don't know if I'm thinking of uh, the right content in the book, but I think he started dating and then she got jealous. And then he, he, she, she would talk to him. Like they would have conversations, this AI in the house, right? And then she got jealous. I had to read the book again. And then one day he went to leave the house and she was like, you can't leave. And whatever her name is, let's call it Siri or Alexa or bitch, right? He was like, bitch, let me out. And then she goes, you can't leave. It was real funny. This was in 1984. The book is called 1984. 
And it was written like 10 years before 1984. So when 1984 came, we were like, oh, look at that. No such thing as what was in the book. Night George Orwell, ha ha ha, joke's on you. Now we can't do anything without AI. Siri, play Michael Jackson for me. Well, there are so many different Michael Jackson songs. Which one were you referring to? Mm -hmm. Wait till Siri starts talking to you all. I don't talk to Siri. I don't talk to Alexa. No, no. We're not having too many bitches in this house. I'm not having a human bitch. I'm not having an AI bitch. No. Too many bitches. Hi, Terry. Hello, sweetie. I got to show Terry my hair. My hair is long because of Terry. Look, Terry. Look how long my hair is. Thanks to you. My hair is so... Oh, wait. My hair is long because of Terry. Look, Terry. Look how long that is. Look how long that is, Terry. I love you, Terry. The minute I got my hair done... In locks, Terry said, pull it up in a pineapple every night when you go to bed. That's what Terry said. And so every night for years, I pulled my hair up in a pineapple for years. And then I went to sleep and I just would put the band. I, I didn't sleep with the uh, bonnet back then. I would just put a band around my head and I would just sleep like this. And when you wear your hair in a pineapple, because of the texture of our hair, it pulls it up. It makes it grow more. I don't know if you guys know this. And so Terry, the first thing she said was, this is what you need to do. And the second thing I did was listen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Terry. I'm happy for you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. It stops the breakage? Oh, and sleep on a satin pillowcase. I didn't do that. I put satin around my thing, but I didn't, I didn't even know. I, I, I do want a satin pillowcase, though. I want a nice, black, beautiful satin pillowcase. Maybe I'll just buy it. Thank you. I'll get a satin pillowcase now. Thank you. Now I'm going to leave my hair like this. I don't even know how I got it like this just now. Okay. Um, okay. So we are the least affordable. You did it right. Thank you. Thank you. A satin scarf, right? I put, I put a satin scarf because you have to protect the edges, right? So I put a satin scarf. Thank you, sweetie. You did it right. Thank you. You... Listen, one thing, y'all y'all think I don't listen to y'all. Y'all think, Tracy, what are you doing? Don't do that. I listen. I listen. Always. Somebody told me to stop drinking LaCroix water. Change my life. Because LaCroix water has um, formaldehyde in it. And I was, it was causing an allergic reaction to me. So you think you're drinking water, but the fahagamide formaldehyde was killing me. And somebody was like, you don't know what's in that water. And sure enough, it does not show the ingredients of what's in St. Croix water. It does not show, but it has formaldehyde in it. Mm -hmm. Don't drink that water. Oh, I sleep on satin pillowcases. I can't do scarves. Now... Now I'm wearing bonnets. It took me forever to wear bonnets, but now I wear silk bonnets. It took me forever, all my life. And this one is uh, lined inside and out. Now this particular one I use when um, I want to saturate my, my scalp and my hair with oils, right? The night before, I might want to like take the strands and put extra oil on it. And then I sleep under the uh, the bonnet. Any other time, I have a lighter bonnet that I use. Yes, LaCroix tastes like battery acid. I agree. Yes, anything that is satin fabric protects your hair. 
Are you guys listening? Expert advice here. Are you listening? All right. Let me finish up. It now takes 41% of median monthly income. It, it now takes 41% of the medium household monthly income to cover the principal and interest payment on a medium on a medium priced home. New data shows this comes as a painful combination of high mortgage rates, soaring home prices and low inventory is pushing the American dream further from reach for many prospective home buyers. After seven consecutive weekly increases, the 30 year fixed rate stands at 7.7%. That's miles away from the pre COVID rate of 3.7%. 8% in the fall of 2019. Climate change is also damaging the market as acquiring homeowners insurance remains challenging in areas that frequently experience extreme weather events. Cotton pillowcases break out here, tossing and turning while we sleep. Are we listening, everyone? Are we listening? All right. Anything that is satin protects your hair. Thank you, sweetie. All right, I got a reading to do. Hopefully she remembered. Hold on a second, let me text her. Uh, oh, damn it. I don't know, I had heard that she wrote a book. Did she put anything exciting in a book? Do I need to? Who does she kiss? Oh, who are we shocked about? What black man did she screw? Is, is that what you're saying? What did she write in her book? Let me see if she's on. Hold on a second. She may not be on. You know what? She's probably watching me because that happened last night. Probably watching me and she's not coming on until she sees I end this. Okay. I'm I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Memories of the time we left behind. Did she say anything shocking? Come together, da 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 Of the way we were. Scattered pictures. I don't know the words. You guys know the song? It's a beautiful song. All right, guys. I have a reading to do. Made up bribery. She said H.W. put Julie Garland up against what? Against her. Is that Hollywood? You mean Hollywood? Um, made up bribery. That's a shame. Because Drew... Uh, Judy Garland was so goddamn fragile. 
she was not supposed to be in Hollywood. That woman was fragile. And she made a fragile daughter too. They, they, the whole family just fragile. Terrible. She was not made for Hollywood, Julie Garland. Nope. Nope. She was just used in Hollywood. Okay, I gotta go. I love you guys. Yes, Hollywood Studios, thank you. I gotta go. I have a reading and I have a funny feeling the person's watching me and she won't come into the Zoom until she, unless I said 12. Maybe I said 12. I didn't document though. And I'm pretty sure I said 11 because I thought I was gonna be at the cruise ships today. I'm pretty sure I said 11. I thought I would be at the cruise ships today. And uh, I woke up this morning, I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I was like, nope, oh, stay long. All right, I love you guys. Thank you for putting up with me. You guys are amazing, and thank you. And unless Lamar has something to do with his car, I'm passing the torch on to Lamar. Please watch Lamar. We're taking over the mornings. I love you guys. Take it easy. Cue the music! Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Bye-bye.